Hi students, I am Asha Rai. Today let us learn about numbers, knowing our numbers, chapter 1. In this introduction and comparing numbers, we have already done in the earlier classes. So part 1, I am dividing this into 3 parts. In part 1, we will be dealing with introduction, comparing numbers and conversion and different systems of uh, numbers in Indian and international system of uh, numbers and in part 2 let's uh, deal with the estimation of numbers and in part 3 let us deal with roman numbers so now coming to the part 1 introduction so how like in uh, in our daily life we come across numbers almost every day like every minute also you can say like in the last uh, uh, classes we have learned how to add to numbers subtraction multiplication and division of numbers Right. So we, if we know, if we can understand what are numbers, then the communication will be easier. We can represent numbers in, uh, you know, large numbers also in symbols. Right. So we have, we, suppose if we have to count the number of uh, students in our class. So how do we do it? By just using the numbers, by just counting. Right. So like this, we have so many applications. Uh, by using numbers so first let us see uh, just recall what the concepts that we have learned in our earlier classes in our earlier classes we have learned about addition subtraction multiplication and division of numbers and we have also learned about largest and smallest numbers comparing them which number is uh, largest and which number is smallest suppose if we have a number like seven eight nine six or nine eight seven six right so uh, the numbers used here are the same so in the first uh, number also you have seven eight six seven eight nine in the next number also you have six seven eight nine but how can you say which number is largest because on the, in the thousands place we have nine so in the ones place it is six it is the same and the tens place you have seven here you have nine here right uh, according to that till 10 place the first number is larger than the second number but if you count, if you see further in the third place you have 8 and 8 that is in the hundreds place okay ones tens hundreds and in thousands place here you have 7 here you have 9 that means your thousands place 9 is greater than uh, thousands place of first number therefore 9876 is greater than 7896 yes friends so like this we can say which is greater and which is smaller like we can see which are the largest and smallest numbers now similarly we have seen 10,000 like 10 thousands and 1 lakhs so how uh, we, we have done in our earlier classes so how many places we need for 10,000 how many places we will need till 1 lakh right if you if, like let us uh, see a table here so large larger numbers so how can we get this 10,000 so 10,000 you can call it as how many digits you have 1 2 3 4 5 right so you have five digits here you have one two three four five six that is six digits so one lakh is the smallest you can say that it is the smallest six digit number where ten thousand is the smallest five digit number right now if i want to write the largest five digit number how can I write? Can I write this 99,999? Yes, friends. Is 99,999 the uh, largest five-digit number? Because after 99,999, you will get 1 lakh. Right. So, therefore, you can call that this... 10,000 is the smallest whereas 99,999 is the largest right now similarly if you have now 1 lakh so 1 lakh is the smallest six digit number now if I have to write the largest six digit number it will be 9 lakhs 99,999 this will be the largest six digit number now if I add one to this it will become 10 lakhs 
which is the seven digit number so after this you have seven digit number therefore nine nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine will be your largest six digit number similarly smallest day six digit number is one lakh so let us see more larger numbers here we have to remember that if we add one to the greatest six digit number we get the smallest seven digit number like in the above example we have seen if you add one if you add one to the smallest five digit number you are getting the to the greatest uh, five digit number you are getting the smallest dig six digit number right suppose if you are adding one to the largest six digit number then you are getting the smallest seven digit number this is seven digit number right and this is six digit number so like this let us see this like nine plus one gives us ten so nine is the largest La largest single digit number can you say this this is the largest single digit single digit number if you add one to it you will get the smallest two digit number right friends two digits one and zero that means you have two digits now now you are taking the largest two digit, two digit number 99 this is the largest two digit number and if you add one to it you will get the smallest three digit number now again i have taken the largest three digit number and added one to it now i'll get the smallest three digit number so this smallest four digit number now i have taken the greatest four digit number now and if i add one to it you will get smallest five digit number right friends now i have taken the greatest five digit number this is the greatest five digit number and now i have added one to it now i will get the smallest six digit number that is here you have nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine plus one gives you ten thousand now ninety nine thousand ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine one plus one will give you one lakh so this is the smallest smallest six digit number right now i have taken the greatest six digit number that is 9,99,999 you will get 10 lakhs so this is the again smallest seven digit number now i have taken the greatest seven digit number here and added one then you are getting one crore which is the smallest eight digit number so always remember that in one crore you have seven zeros and the total number of digits is eight now let uh, uh, i hope you have understood this how we have uh, see like how we have converted largest to smallest and smallest to largest by just adding plus one right now ne next let us go through different two types of numeration two types of uh, systems that we have one is indian system indian number system and the other is international number system if you can see here in the indian number system we have uh, like ones and ones tens hundreds and thousands are same in indian system and international system but if you see here the difference that we have here in indian number system international system starts from lakhs after thousands from the right side you have lakhs right you have lakhs here whereas 
वेर एज इन इंटरनेशनल सिस्टम ऑफ न्यूमरेशन आफ्टर थाउजेंड कम्स द मिलियंस राइट सो आफ्टर लैक्स यू हैव टेन लैक्स देन लाइक यू नो टेन लैक्स थाउजेंड टेन थाउजेंड लैक्स टेन लैक्स हियर यू हैव मिलियन मिलियंस हंड्रेड मिलियंस राइट एंड इन आफ्टर लैक्स यू हैव क्रोर्स हियर आफ्टर मिलियंस यू हैव बिलियंस ओके सो दिस इज अ सिंपल बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंडियन नंबर सिस्टम एंड इंटरनेशनल नंबर सिस्टम वेर आफ्टर थाउजेंड लैक्स कम एंड लेटर टेन लैक्स कम इन इंडियन सिस्टम वेर एज इन इंटरनेशनल सिस्टम ऑफ न्यूमरेशन आफ्टर थाउजेंड कम्स हंड्रेड थाउजेंड and then you will then comes the millions right so here if you can see 100000 is 100 uh, million and 10000 is 10000 10 10000 gives you 10 million in this international system of numeration right now let us see here which i have written if you can if you can compare it with the uh, figure given here 1 lakh is equals to 10 10000s right so you 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 might get questions like this 1 lakh is equals to if you have to convert into thousands so 1 lakh is equals to 10 10000s 10 so i have written 10 Ten thousands, ten thousands is this much. So ten and ten thousand will give you one lakh. That means let me uh, let us learn commas in the next session. So ten ten thousands will give you one lakh. This is your one lakh where you have five zeros, right? So this is your ten. and this is your 10000 right so this is ones tens hundreds thousands 10000 and 1 lakh right friends similarly 1 million is 10 hundreds so 1 million is nothing but 10 hundreds similarly 1 crore is 10 10 crores or you can say that 10 lakhs is nothing but 10 lakhs Is nothing but one uh, million. Ten lakhs is nothing but one million in uh, international. Ten lakhs is the Indian system, and this is international system, and this is Indian system. In Indian system, we represent it as ten lakhs, whereas in international system, we represent it as one million. Now, one crore is equals to ten ten lakhs, or you can simply say that one crore is equals to one ten. million in indian system it is 1 crore whereas in international system it is 10 millions and 10 1 million will give you 10 lakhs so these are the uh, conversion from indian system to international system some of the important points that we all should remember okay now next see the comparison of numbers in this table there is a small example given let us compare the numbers 70 uh, here like they have not put the commas we'll learn about the use of commas also after this if you can see this both are eight digit numbers right so now we have written them in ones thousands lakhs and crores table so ones tens hundreds thousands and ten thousands come under thousands lakhs and ten lakhs and crores okay so we can see that they are eight digit number so we have already discussed about that in one crore you have eight digits so we will need crores so we have written the numbers respectively in uh, uh, you know uh, seven crores 67 lakhs 67676 is the first number and seven crores 76 lakhs 60 Uh, fifty six thousand five sixty five is the next number, right? Now, if you see here, both the numbers are eight digit numbers. The digits in the greatest place value are the same, and the place value seven crores. Value being seven crores. So, in the place value of crores, that means in the eighth place. Both the values are same. This is also seven, and this is also seven. Now, if you 
go to the next place the digits in the next place value that is in the 10 lakhs uh, place they are different here it is 6 and here it is 7 right the place value in the first number is 60 lakhs right this is 60 lakhs here and the place value in the second number is 70 lakhs that is here now if you can see that obviously 6 is less than 7 that means 60 lakhs is less than 70 lakhs so obviously the second number okay obviously the second number is greater than the first number or the first number is smaller than the second number so this is how we can compare the number by uh, writing the numbers in the form of a table so that it will become easy now let us see how to use the commas okay so in indian system we use as discussed above ones tens hundreds thousands lakhs and crores right lakhs 10 lakhs and crores so now here we have an example here first let us count the numbers from uh, right side so you have one two this is ones place tens place hundreds place thousands place right this is ten thousand place and this is one crore 10,000 uh, thousands place, 10 thousands place, lakhs and 10 lakhs. Right. So here we can say that how, uh, how can we now, how can we put the commas here? So we'll put the commas in Indian system after thousand. Suppose if you have, uh, like if you count from ones place. Okay. Suppose if you count from ones place after three digits after three digits you put a comma after three digits put a comma right so after t three digits from right right and again after five digits from right or after comma you can put comma here right so this how can you write this 99 lakhs for 99 lakhs 46 rupees right this shows that 99 lakhs 46 rupees so we have put the commas after lakhs and after thousands right so but if you see from the right side you are putting comma after third place and after fifth place after fifth place right after you can say after fifth place or before sixth place so this is indian system right now if you see in the international system ones tens hundreds thousands and then we get the millions so we know that one million is equals to thousand thousands right now the first comma mark like thousands and the next comma mark is millions okay so the first comma mark is thousands so i'll put the comma here and the next comma mark is millions so this is how we can put the commas in the international system now let us see the large numbers in practice uh, before that like uh, here we can also write this in numbers right we can write this as 99 millions 985 thousand so we can write this as let me write this in words 99 millions million 985 thousands 102 right so here we 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 are putting commas after millions and after thousands so this is a basic difference between Indian system and international system. Now moving towards the third part of this section that is large numbers that we use in practice. Okay, so here we have uh, some uh, uh, terms here like in order to find the length. Suppose if we have to find the length of a pencil. So how do you measure it? You will measure it in centimeters. 
right suppose if we want to see the thickness of the pencil then we use millimeters if you want to measure the length then we use centimeters so in the previous classes also we have used meters centimeters so let us see what is the relationship between this meters and centimeters so here 10 millimeters will give you one centimeter okay so 10 millimeter gives you one centimeter now one centi uh, like one meter will give you one meter will give you hundred centimeters or if you have to convert into thousand millimeters you can convert it similarly like one meter is equals to thousand millimeters right friends now one kilometer one kilometer is equals to thousand meters so you can write meters as m or mt okay one kilometer you can write it as one km right now since suppose there is a question here how many millimeters make one kilometer now here if you see millimeters are the smallest and kilometers is the largest now the question is one kilometer how many millimeters make one kilometer so we can write that how can we solve this one kilometer is equals to we know that one kilometer is equals to thousand meters right friends now how many millimeters make one kilometer is what they are asking but we know that one meter now one kilometer first we have changed it into meters now meters we will change it into uh, centimeters or directly into millimeters we know that one meter is equals to thousand millimeters i'll write it as mm right now i can write that one kilometer is equals to thousand meters so can i write thousand meters as thousand into one meter because thousand into one is nothing but thousand so thousand into what is your one meter one meter is nothing but thousand millimeters therefore you will get how many di uh, digits one two three four five six seven eight so seven digits means you can you will have seven zeros right if you are writing in indian system you will have to put commas similarly before three digits that means before uh, before like after thousand and before hundred and after lakhs after 10 lakhs so you will get millimeters as 10 lakh millimeters so now this is about meters and kilometers now if you now if we have to find the weight so millimeters meters kilometers are uh, useful in finding the length breadth or distance right now if we have to find the weight of any object like if you want to find the mass or weight in the object that that is where we use grams and kilograms so one kilogram you must have heard about one kg so one kg is nothing but thousand grams right so one gram is equals to thousand milligrams okay so i'm just writing here in blue just to show how we can write this grams or milligrams kilograms into uh, in, into shorter notes right so similarly if we want to uh, find the volume or weight of a lick of some liquid or some holding water that is where we use liters right so one liter is equals to thousand milliliters or water or any soft drink or if you have to buy a uh, bottle of hair oil so you will buy it in liters or milliliters right so therefore one so to find that such type of uh, new numericals we use liters uh, which are like if we have to find the weight of some uh, liquid objects right now in, in all this uh, in all these large numbers one thing we'll have to notice that these are the units right these are the units where we have kilo 
we have seen kilos we have seen milli we have seen centi so what we have to remember here here is kilo is the greatest right kilo is a greatest because it shows thousand times right it shows a thousand times greater and milli milliliter or millimeter uh, which we have seen above are the smallest are the smallest milliliters are the smallest because they show thousand times lesser L right thousand times more and th thousand times less and centi centi is shows hundred times hundred times smaller so these are the basic terms that we need to understand through which we can we will be solving many problems using uh, meters centimeters grams kilograms liters milliliters and also using different uh, like in the above session we have seen how to use a commerce and international and indian system similarly like how to see which is greater which number is greater or which number is smaller and how to take largest digits and the smallest digits and how you can compare so this is about the first part of the first unit knowing our numbers where we have learned about comparing numbers we have learned about uh, two systems that is international and indian system and we have also learned about some large numbers in practice like uh, you know meters centimeters kilometers and kilograms